Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. For the past 10 years, there has been a lot of buzz about what would happen if bees went extinct. This began when beekeepers noticed that their honeybees were dying at much faster rates than normal, which has been called the colony collapse disorder. And you may be surprised to hear that this rapid population decline may lead to some dire consequences for most other life on Earth, including you. And potentially the biggest statistic to demonstrate this is that about every third bite of food you eat is there because some bees did their job. These include apples, almonds, avocados, kidney beans, broccoli, and many, many more. And all this happens thanks to the process of pollination. Pollination occurs when a bee, other insect, animal, or wind transfers pollen from the flower's anther, which is attached to the male sex organ called the stamen, to the stigma, which is attached to the female organ called the pistil. And bees help this process along when they touch the anthers of a plant while searching for nectar. Some pollen grains get stuck to the bee's fuzzy, sticky body, and when it brushes up against the stigma, of another plant of the same species, the plant can begin to create offspring. One of the ways a plant does this is by producing seeds, which develop into the fruit that is currently in your fridge. So what happens without any bees? Well, to start, remember all the food items I mentioned earlier? They're gone. And with the disappearance comes a monetary loss of over $14 billion in the United States alone. Never thought bees contributed that much to the economy, huh? Not to mention your salad is now looking a lot less, uh, salad -y. As far as crops go, you are now mostly left with corn, wheat, and oats because these crops are pollinated by the wind. And also, you can say goodbye to any cotton clothes you have because cotton plants also have to be pollinated. Cotton makes up about 40% of the world's fibers and makes up your jeans, bed sheets, t-shirts, underwear, and more. And this is serious because I just started getting into skinny jeans and I don't want them taken away from me. Unsurprisingly, pesticides, which are used to ward off agricultural pests, are a major reason. They aren't able to discriminate between pest and pollinator and are therefore killing any bees they encounter. Also, certain pathogens carried by mites can weaken the bees' immune system, making them more susceptible to various viruses that can shorten their lives. And all of this results in less bees, meaning less clothing for you to wear and less food for you to eat. And to think that you thought the worst thing this bee could do was sting you. If you want to help save the bees, we have some links in the description for you to check out. And tell us in the comment section below what we should talk about next. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.